there is no threat of being found out about the things you say. No one knows it was you, so you can't face any consequences for it. And like, even if it's not a non, you still don't face the same consequences. And it's not just young people half the time, like adults can do it too. The people that get bullied um, find it very upsetting and everyone has feelings. Technology is getting to be a huge part of our everyday lives and we're probably not as well educated as we should be on how we should treat people online and what the effects are. It affects so many people in different ways. It's just absolutely horrible. I think the place where we can make the most difference is with young people. As soon as they start turning around and saying, you know what, it's not okay and we don't want it at our school, that's going to be the biggest impact for New Zealand. Just stand up to the issues that are going on because they're real and suicide is real, it's happening and it's something that we seem just to sweep under the carpet. I would love to see a group like Sticks and Stones in every high school in New Zealand. I think that would be fantastic. Um, I think that that's the sort of thing that's going to make the biggest difference to cyberbullying in New Zealand. And if we can have that many people who are enthusiastic and passionate about helping themselves and helping their peers and helping their friends and helping people less fortunate than them, then uh, that's going to have a really, a really big difference on cyberbullying in New Zealand. And there's huge skill opportunity in, within those types of arenas and I think, um, yeah, it's fabulous to be able to do that because it leads on to other, um, other opportunities when you head out into the big wide world. I am so much more confident now in talking to groups of people and I feel like I can help other people now and that's just something that I really enjoy. Um, my self-confidence has grown and I just feel a lot better as a person. Have fun, don't worry if some things don't work out, just learn from them, move on. We've had some great successes and we've had some things that perhaps didn't work so well. Do think about who you're trying to get through to and think of ways to keep getting people involved and keep getting people interested. If you're organised and you have a great idea, there's really nothing that can go wrong. As long as they're fun and people want to go to them, you get your message across to lots of people they enjoy being there and then they remember the message that you try and portray throughout the whole event or campaign. So as long as the youth are taking charge and promoting positive behaviour online then it's easy. We get to pick what we do, we get to pick how we do it and it's all organised by us so it's a great like opportunity and it's, it's cool to feel like you're making a difference. Everything that we can prevent from being posted online in the first place is going to be the biggest win rather than punishing someone down the track for putting something online. And I think a big part of that is education. But as soon as people realise that, hey, you know, it's our friends that are saying, no, we don't want to see that, take it off, don't do that, um, I think that's where it's going to make the most difference because as soon as there's, you know, nobody watching it or thinking it's funny or amusing, you know, that's when it's going to start petering out. Sticks and Stones helped me just I guess to channel the grief that I was feeling and to try and to try and help other people and that's what I'm still trying to do and it's something I will be doing for a very long time. The thing is with cyberbullying is you can't physically stop it, you can't just rip someone's phone out of their hand before they say something but you can leave that message in their head so that before they send that negative message they think listen this isn't right and so maybe hopefully they'll, be, they'll press backspace instead of send. If we can raise awareness and help stop cyberbullying in our own way, then I think if everybody helps, then cyberbullying is going to reduce dramatically. As if they're judging as we pass them by. And the city's lights, oh, they burn too bright. And I still. Chance we'll get away from what we've done.